in this video we are going to be going over dropping our well it's going to be part three of our inventory obviously but we're going to be going over how we can make our inventory items drop to the ground so after we die so for example let's say player one picks up a med kit player two kills them that med kit is going to be dropped on that player's location so player two then can walk over to player one's body and pick up that med kit it's going to be kind of like a well, I think you understand what I mean. So, we already have our function here that gets called when we die. So, to go over it, we take our damage. Once our damage is less than or equal to zero, we call our die function, which is running on the server. So, and here is simply where we're going to be controlling our, or calling our uh, clear inventory item function. So in our inventory, we need to actually make a function dedicated for that. So I'm going to make one, call it void, uh, drop all inventory. So in our inventory.cpp, did the same thing. I don't know why I didn't just alt enter and do that. Alright, so in here we want to loop through all of our items in our item array. So for a pickups, pickup, then items, because that's our array name. And we have our remove item function here. I do kind of want to delete, uh, Let's change this to drop item instead of remove item so that way it's a little bit more clear because we're going to be calling this continually through this function here. Also, let's draw a check. So if role equals role authority and I messed up, get owner role. Alright, oh, what? Outer. All right. So here, we simply call drop item and pass in pickup. Now in drop item, we're going to be removing the item from our inventory as well. Actually, we really kind of don't need to, but it wouldn't be that bad an idea to, because when our the way we have it set up, so after we die, after 10 seconds, our old body gets deleted. So destroyed. That goes for the inventory component, which holds the array of items. Yeah, well, if I remember to, we'll do it. So what we want to do is go ahead and get our location as well, because that's where we're going to move it to. So let's go and do another check. Get owner role. Make sure it equals the server, so role authority. And we're going to do what we did previously. In our in inventory, we're just going to pass in false. So item in inventory false. And we want to drop the item. So let's first off, let's go ahead and get our location. So let's see here f vector location equals get owner get actor location and we'll just leave it there for now I want to show you here in a minute how to kind of randomize it a little bit now if we go over to our pickups currently while we are set to replicate we are not set to replicate our movement so if we go from the center of the map to the top right corner of the map with this object it is not going to be replicated so what we need to do to replicate that is do B replicate movement set that to true in our pickups.cpp that is already set so this sh no, we'll get, we actually need to call it so in our die function I want to do this at the very top we're going to go from our inventory component to drop all inventory what we do is simply call that we should be, oh, we need to set the item's location, so item, set actor location, 
to be our new location. try it out. Now this should spawn the item above the ground a little bit. So I'm going to grab medkit and can of food. Click it. There we go. So I have a medkit and can of food on this guy here. Let's get rid of this client. Shoot him once, shoot him twice. He has died. And you can see the medkit with the can of food. But they're centered and inside of each other, but we can in fact pick them both up. If I can click it. So now the can of food and my kid are on this guy. So let's move over here and shoot him as well. As you can see, there it moved. So let's go ahead and randomize it a little bit. This is extremely easy to do. And I'll end up fixing the uh what you call it? The item hovering over the top in a separate video because that's going to be just kind of when we start polishing things up a little bit but that is very easy to do to qu quick rundown you pretty much you take this location and you make a ray shoot straight down and you pretty much find the location that that ray make comes in contact with anything or if you want to exclude certain things so once it comes in contact with let's say like the ground the floor whatever you're going to go off that location instead of this location. So you're going wherever that ray slash line intersects with the ground. Alright, so let's go ahead and randomize it a little bit. So we're going to be modifying just the x and y values. So location dot x plus equals f math rand range. And I'm going to do negative 50 and positive 100. So remember, this is in centimeters. So the x-axis should now be in a random kind of selection between negative 50 and 100 centimeters. I'm going to do the same thing for y. So it'll be, well, you can kind of guess there. So this is just kind of have it moving around on the x and y axis to where they should, most of the time, there is a chance they're going to spawn inside of each other again, but it's kind of rare and it'll give a nice movement kind of like a almost as if they were kind of randomly dropped and tossed right, so I'm going to grab that and then I forgot to run the other client hang on so well now we can at least test with the joint in progress client to make sure All right, here we are health kit and water bottle are gone kill this guy and you can see the health kit while well, the medkit and the water are in a random location. Well, compared to where he died. So to make sure that that did update, which it did, might as well test again just to show you. But it should be same spot on the new client that's loading in. Yep, just like so. I cannot hit anything. Come on. There we go. Just grab all three. So like for example, hopefully we'll have one hanging off the edge, which we do. So when we do that function to make everything kind of hit the ground afterwards, the water bottle and the can of beans will be on the platform we're standing on, and the med kit, since it is hanging over, will be laying on this ground as if it got tossed over the edge. So that will probably, yeah, that'll probably be next since that'll be a another quick video. So let's just go through it and, as usual, reiterate through everything. When our player dies, we call our function that drops all of our inventory. So what that does is it loops through our current array of items and calls our drop item function. So in our drop item function, well, we get our location of our owning actor. So since this is a, our inventory component, is on a player, it's going to get our player's location. We're going to modify the x and the y value so it's 
got to randomization to where it's going to be positioned once the item quote unquote drops. Then we set that location and we use our on rep function that we have on the actual pickup itself to hide slash show the item. So we're passing in false. So we're changing object picked up to false, meaning set hidden in game is false and set actor enable collision is set to true since it's the opposite of what this boolean value has. So in the next video we will be going over that little kind of ray trace thing that I showed you to get the to get a good to pretty much get the object to sit flush with the ground instead of be being just in the air. And I will see you then.